So there's gonna be a lot of noise pollution. Sorry, but not sorry. Uh, the thoughts come when they come. And um, just as I do most things, it's art related, I guess. Um, it's in the moment and it's right now and it's not rehearsed. Uh, uh, I guess writing songs, performing them, I had to write and edit down a bit and it's structured, but visual art and like conversations, it's not like I'm writing a script, but I had this idea. I just feel like my ideas are usually most accurate and powerful when I am uh, sharing them for the first time. If I try to refine it or have to do a conversation again or whatever, if I have to say anything in any context twice, I, I lose part of not just like the energy, but the content. I lose the content um, because my mind is saying, you've already said this before, why are you saying it again? And I drop parts of it because I'm like, oh wait, did I say that? Did I not say that? The first time, now I can't remember. And then I'm out of the conversation. So, or whatever I'm saying. Anyway, um, there's a little, a little El Foi, a little extra for you. <clears throat> if you don't know El Foi, look up E-L space F-U-A on YouTube and uh, you'll know what I mean by the extra. So anyway, I had this realization, long intro to a conversation, but well worth it. Um, I had this thought while I was climbing up Whoop Up just now, and that was just thinking about art and thinking about, um, actually, to be specific, and I hope she doesn't mind that I do this, but I'm doing it because I don't think it's offensive or unflattering, but quite the opposite. So I was thinking about Rebecca's art and I was thinking, you know, uh, which I've had this thought before, but I just never went anywhere till today. And part of that is like exercise and being outside and uh, clarity, workout clarity, post-workout clarity, workout high, whatever. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about Rebecca's art and how I've just like, for months now, I've just been thinking like, is it art? Is it not art? And it doesn't occupy my time that much. It's like every couple of weeks or maybe once a week, I don't know, the thought enters my mind and I quickly dismiss it because I think it doesn't matter. But um, I spent a long time thinking about and even teaching about art through the question, what is art? And having people, you know, come up with their own definitions and whatever else. And uh, yeah, I think that it's a worthwhile endeavor. Um, oh man, my gears are sliding all over the place. Holy smokes. Anyway, um, I was just thinking like, okay, well, it's decorative. And I don't know if it's anything beyond that. And I like it as a design, as an aesthetic object. I think what she does is beautiful. I don't think at the time, anyway, I wasn't seeing a lot of substance in it by itself as an object that you could walk upon and see. I didn't think that it was evoking a lot of inner dialogue or, or challenging. And then today I was thinking, well, the process of creating that for her is beautiful and it does something positive for her. And like the act of creating is the art. The act of creating for her is like calming and centering and like 
a lot of things that art making is for me. And for a long time, coming from, you know, Pollock, Jackson Pollock's painting philosophy, uh, which was incredibly influential for me as an artist, that, that uh, the studio is basically the arena for art making and the art is the process of creation. And it is not what you have left that is the art, that is evidence of the art, because art was the act. Um, and so I started thinking, well, if art is the act, and if art making for her in that process is doing something of substance and um, something worthwhile and has meaning and depth, then how come the evidence of that doesn't have the same meaning or depth as the process? And I was just thinking like, why doesn't it? And I'm like, what is it evoking in the viewer? It's, it's beautiful, it makes somebody smile, it makes their heart flutter, or it can make them curious about her process, or curious about the life that is there in these pressed flowers alongside um, graphite on paper for these animals who also, you mean, they didn't have life the same way the flowers did, but they, they have a message of life. And even if I'm reading deeper into it than her intention was, um, got some real idiots here driving. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Anyway, um, that's one reason, I guess, not to do conversations outside or while I drive or whatever else. I get distracted by the common man, which is basically idiots. So um, I was thinking, why, why does art have to be something or why is, is depth or meaning something that I'm attaching to something darker. Why does it have to be, no, this is real. Well, happiness isn't real. Beauty isn't real. Wanting to um, put a smile on someone's face or make their heart lighter, that's not real. And I think for me, it's just rare that I ever express that type of thing. Um, and so for a long time too, seeing that kind of thing I would just cast it into the, into the pit of non-art. It's not challenging. But I would also argue it kind of challenges me. It challenges me to think about it, at least right now. And I know that's because it's close to home. But if I, if I saw it just somewhere without any context, without the context of Rebecca, I don't know what I would think of it. But the fact that the fact is, that's not my context. So, um, but I think that it doesn't have to necessarily even be challenging. Um, I mean, it, you, you could take it as it's challenging someone to smile if they're not in a place where they feel happy or good, or they don't already have a, a smile on their face. Or maybe it adds to that. I don't know. But I just like found, I, I don't have a new definition of art. I think I've, for a while, scrapped that practice of trying to define it in a sentence um, because I've opened up to just what is the point in trying to do that. I still think there's a purpose in, like right now, trying to think about what makes something art and what doesn't, but I just don't go as far as trying to define it in a single sentence, including things and excluding things with the very precise diction. But I do appreciate and enjoy the practice of thinking about it. Is it art? Is it not? Why? Why not? Etc. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I think I'm going to leave it there. But it was just a moment that I really enjoyed just like coming to that conclusion of like all those things of like, if the process is worthwhile, if the process has meaning and has depth and whatever else, why does the product not? And I think it does. Um, 
it's just not as recognizable maybe for some, including myself, who is such an elitist and also just thinks of art as very conceptual and whatever else, rather than like, and I'm not saying that all decorative stuff has meaning or whatever else just because it's pretty, because I think this is just, I think this is beyond, oh, it's just pretty. I think there's more here, which is what I discovered today by thinking about it and thus talking about it and sharing it with you.